So Allegro in D major, this is on page 58 in your performance book. We are going to do something um, kind of fun in this piece called a mordant. And this is a kind of an, an ornamentation. If you'll see the little symbol here, the little squiggly line with a straight line drawn through it there on that half note that we have right there on D. All I'm gonna do when I see that is I'm going to actually make a little turn. And so I'm playing the note D, but I'm gonna give it just as fast as I can. I'm gonna give it a little like that. And the reason I use a C sharp is because of course, I'm in the key of D major, which is what we are practicing right now. We're working on the key of D major, which has two sharps. Those sharps are F sharp and C sharp. And so that means that every time I play an F or every time I play a C, I'm actually going to play an F sharp or a C sharp. Uh, also, it's telling you to kind of look for patterns. We really want to do that anytime we're learning a new piece. Look for patterns that you see in the piece. For instance, this measure and this measure are exactly the same. And the reason we want to look for those is because that makes our job much easier uh, as musicians and as sight readers. If we can learn to recognize those patterns, then really we can learn to play a piece much faster. For instance, if you notice down here at square five and six, this is an exact repeat of measures one and two, just at a different dynamic level. So really look for those patterns as you're playing a new piece and that's gonna help you learn it more quickly. You'll see a lot more of those over here on page two. So let's just play through Allegro in D major and hear how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 